While fertility treatments are under attack nationwide, Wisconsin families are speaking out on how it helped them start a family. Let's dive into the story. Rachel Hahn didn't know she had polycyst ovary syndrome until she'd been trying for a baby for over two years. Rachel and her husband Chris knew they'd have to turn to doctors for help if they wanted to fulfill their dream of having a family. For three years, Rachel took a host of pills in order to increase fertility. She became pregnant under what they learned later was miraculous conditions, and her son Camden was born. When Camden was about one, the Dunn County couple decided it was time to see if they could add to their family of three. It was then that doctors introduced them to the idea of in vitro fertilization through IVS. The Hans were able to receive answers that only could be identified as a result of the IVF procedures. Through that time, Rachel had three retrieval surgery procedures and eight frozen embryo transfers. Out of those eight, two were successful and one ended in a miscarriage. In February, the Alabama Supreme Court ruled that frozen embryos are legally children. A precedent was set that put at risk every American's access to fertility treatments that could help them start a family. If you want to learn more about IVF, head over to Up North News.